Hi everyone, it's Cindy and I am working on Christmas stuff. Today I was getting it out of storage and sorting it and oh my goodness, I spared you all of that. I uh, Usually when I do something like that, I take it to my dining room table. This time I knew that wasn't big enough so I took it to my queen size bed and I just piled it on my bed so it's everywhere. But I discovered a whole tub of covers. I was so excited so I thought I'd show you those to get started with Christmas. This one... Um, it's just a little bitty one. You can tell maybe that it was made from a light um, box of lights. And I guess I put that tissue on there to be the beginnings of something. And I had put them put some things in there thinking maybe it would work, I guess. This is all a guess because, you know, it's been two years since I've done Christmas. I did not do it last year. I have these poinsettias. They're really pretty. I guess I could take them out. Um, I'm sure I was thinking would go on there. But also I have that... Um, and some snowflakes. I'm pretty sure I made those, crocheted those. Um, those could go on there, but I think this is something else I had in mind for it because it's this little shaker thing that would go really cute on there. So that's a mini journal. So I guess it could be made out of just leftovers, especially with cut off some scrapbook paper. So that one's fun. And then I have this, I have no idea. Uh, compass and ink. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Freebies, oh, thank you for telling myself. I had no idea because I didn't, I was pretty sure it wasn't part of a kit I had because I have all of those and I kind of looked through them the other day just to see what kind of papers I had and yeah, glad to know. This I had bought a long time ago and I can't remember what it was for. <laughs> if it was supposed to be a scrapbook or something. At one time I put all of my, um, I punched holes in my Christmas cards that I'd received and put in here and then finally decided, nah, I'll use this for something else. So I'm thinking about making this just a journal that a binder, ring binder journal. And um, I've already got the cover decorated, so that's always good. And I put in a few things. Um, so here's how I had the Christmas cards. I just did one hole, I guess. So I left a few in here. So I don't know. I'm thinking about putting scrapbook papers in here though and maybe a couple of cards. So uh, it's already been covered with paper, scrapbook paper. So that's a fun cover. And this is one of my favorites. Oh my gosh. I hope the camera does this justice, this fabric. It's got the scene, the winter scene. And then there's sparkles all throughout the fabric, green sparkles. So it's just really gorgeous. And I had this trim I bought somewhere and I just thought it went real well. It does have some pastel colors here, but uh, you know, we got a little red here. So I didn't think that matters, but I just loved it with it. And when I opened it up, I didn't have any fabrics with it. I just had bits and pieces, but then I found this in my stash. And I thought, oh, that's gorgeous too. Cause it's got the gold that just, uh, gold metallic in it so anyway that's definitely going to be a cover and um i might do this one uh, like obviously a woodlands theme or and botanical which is no yeah i don't know you know like no santas no jingle bells no rudolph well maybe rudolph because he's on the cover but you know anyway i'm not sure uh this is an ornament i got a dollar tree i guess so i thought yeah it makes a great cover for a journal and i already had this one made and it's pretty, it's got the ticking there, and we got sort of like, it's more like candy cane stripes here. Um, the little, um, what do you call that, fake berries and stuff on there. And anyway, I thought that was a cute one. And then this is something I've had, I bought from, uh, oh wait, do I need to repair that? Probably do, because uh, I don't think it should move. I'll glue that back down. Um, it was just something I got in a stash of stuff from a thrift store. So I thought it made a great cover. So anyway, and then here's a little bit of bling to go with it. So bling is definitely in stock or in uh, the works. Okay, this one is great. It was a stocking and this snowman was on there and um, he's kind of grungy looking. And so I put him on some, oh, I didn't realize it was on the back. Ah, oh yeah, some uh, ticking. And that is probably part of the stocking, just patchwork. So I glued that on there and uh, what's inside, inside's more ticking. So that will be a fun one. Then we have another blingy one, same thing. Probably got it in the same stash of stuff. This time we had Christmas tree and the poinsettias. And I just glued them on there and the colors are pretty. And this is some sort of upholstery fabric. So I thought it worked well the color wise. And what else? We got this one, which I had this little stocking. And these are made to put like um, a lip balm, like not lip balm, what do you call these things? Uh, yeah, it's kind of like lip balm in it. 
Uh, something like that can go in there. That's what it's made for, but I thought it'd be a cute little thing to dangle on here. Merry Christmas probably was just some decorations for something. And there's the fabric. And then I have four um, little gun books. I don't know if I will get to those. These are usually a way more detailed journal as far as building the spines and dealing with the pages. So I would like to get to these, some of these. So I'm not sure how many covers I have here, but enough to keep me busy because, and enough maybe to use up a bunch of the stash I have. I have a whole lot of Christmas papers and um, scrapbook paper and stuff to make, um, you know, signatures out of. So I don't think, I don't know. If, I will use digitals, but I'm not sure how much I'll have to depend on them. So anyway, so thanks for watching. This is the beginnings. Um, I'm not sure. I probably will pick a journal and just start with one of those. And um, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.